Hey guys, it's Ducky. Oh man, I'm having such a shit day. But today, so you know, in my last video, I said that um, I'll release a Blender tutorial of how to make a gun rig. Of my last video reached 10 likes. Yes, it did. It reached 10 likes, and I just want to say thank you for that. And yeah, but now since that video reached 10 likes, I I'm gonna now I made a deal, and now we're gonna now I'm gonna show you how to make a gun rig. So it's really easy. So first thing is that you have to download a gun rig. So if you're modeling a gun yourself, then yeah, you can use that. Or you can go to TF Free DM, which is the website I used to download my models. So um, right here, let me go to go to weapons, and then yeah, you got all your guns here, like a Glock and stuff. But the gun we're gonna be rigging is let me find it. OBJ. The gun we're gonna be rigging is a. Is a Glock 18. So here's a Glock. It's you know just a simple Glock. I'm just gonna delete some stuff here. Boom. There's our Glock right here. So first thing is that we're gonna go to proportion mode and go to side view with our Glock. Uh, before we do this, is that now you see the Glock is in different parts and shit, and we don't want that. So the way to fix that is we're gonna go to we're gonna go to wireframe, uh, which is Z. Actually, let me turn on the if I don't know how. Hopefully. Anyway, so never mind. Um, I was wrong. So now, so anyway, you're gonna select uh, the parts of the gun. So I'm just gonna select everything and crap. Uh, that, this, that, this, that, and yeah. Let's make sure I select everything. See any black parts and yeah. So now we're gonna go up here on the side and hit join. Now it's all one model, which we want. So the first thing is that the anchor point, which is this orange dot, is in the middle like that. And how to fix it is control shift so control shift alt c and it comes out with this uh thing and it says set origin we're gonna hit origin set to geronomy geronomy what country you from what? what what ain't no country i ever heard of they speak english and what what english motherfucker do you speak it yes then you know what i'm saying yes. now the dot is now in the middle of the gun and that basically is where habit point or whatever and yeah so we're gonna go back to regular and we're gonna make vertex group so you're gonna select your gun go to the side panel over here and hit, hit the vertex group or the things and right here in the vertex group we're gonna make four things we're gonna make oh, the weapon itself the trigger the slide and the mag oh that's a little too much so we just need four things we're gonna call this weapon the other one slide oh that's not how you spell it that's not how you spell it uh, and a third one, trigger. So it's important to remember these names because we're gonna need to remember them later. And the last one, mag. So for what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to we're gonna go to edit mode, and we're gonna select one of these. So for the weapon, I'm gonna select the entire weapon, hit assign. And for the slide, I'm gonna select parts of the slide. And sometimes you want to select the entire slide, everything. So you're gonna have to select everything on the the slide just in case and yeah which is annoying and stuff it's like a slide a million times so let's check real quick control tab so, so got our slide looks like our slide is good so we're gonna go to weapon edit modes everything assign trigger so basically what you do is you, you basically select parts of the trigger. So see, stuff like this happens, you have to select everything manually, which is pretty stupid. So what I like to do is I hold control and select the faces, and it automatically connects them all together, and it, it makes it a lot more faster. You don't want to do control L because it, it will select everything and fuck it up. But it, but with your rig or with your model, and if the if the person who modeled it right and actually has the triggered section then all you have to do is select one part of the trigger and then or part of it and then it's just simple like that so I'm just gonna select it like that so you wanna so I'm gonna deselect some stuff like there you wanna be careful what god okay let's see if we got everything on the trigger looks like it and now we can assign it now the last part which is the mag so that's basically easy just like the part and uh, when this happens you might think oh crap I didn't like it but whenever we're gonna go to wireframe and check 
And yeah, so now uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna actually add these bullets, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, which I really don't want to, sadly. But it's you know whatever. So I'm just I'm gonna I gotta, you gotta be careful where you're selecting on the edges because sometimes they won't actually you know detect it and just you know kind of select the wrong part, you know, like that right here. Now we're gonna do uh, go into object mode. We're gonna go with armature single bone. So this is our bone. I'm gonna make X-ray B bone and yeah. So I'm just gonna slide it right here. The first bone we're gonna be doing is the mag. That's easy, basic, you know, bag and shit. So I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit, make sure it's inside. Uh, looks good. Now um, that looks good enough. We're gonna go into the bones and call it mag. So, you see, earlier I said we're going to need to remember the vertex group's name. This is why we're going to need it, because we're going to name the bones, we name the vertex group. So, for the mag, I named the vertex group mag, and I named the bone mag. Uh, then we're going to make another bone. Make sure you go to edit mode and add a bone. Why does it turn out like that, bro? It's so stupid. Alright, now we're going to we're gonna size it. We're going to make the, I'm going to add a weapon bone, basically. So... I don't know why it's tilted like that. That really goddamn annoys me because I, I can't turn it for some reason. So it annoys me that I can't really. Oh, I don't I don't care. That's close enough. I, I hate this stupid ass weird shit bone. All right. Anyway. So there we go, we're gonna add another bone, so we're gonna make that trigger. Uh, quick fact, if you go in, if you do control all this, that basically resizes the size of the bone, I guess, you know, to thin it to, yeah. So I'm trigger fitting it. I get, yeah, that looks good. Let's just kinda size it up a bit, there we go. Add another bone, and the last bone is easy. Just rotate negative. I mean, rotate negative ninety. Rotate negative nine. Negative ninety. Gonna make it right there. Select these. Control X. Not Control X. I mean G X. And then there's a slide. Let's make sure it's straight. Uh, check the top. Yep. So now we got our bones. Now we're gonna do the next thing. So we gotta name them, obviously, so, slide, weapon, trigger. Now the next thing, we're gonna go to object mode, we're gonna first select the gun, and then select the bone, and you do control P, empty groups. So, the first thing, nothing has happened, but if we select the, if we select the bone, go to pose mode, so now you see, the shit is moving. So, the slide moves back, the mag, let's see. Yep. Just like what we want. Come on like that. Boom. But if I move the weapon, if everything moves out of part, and that's actually kind of good. So, but a way to fix that is first, I'm gonna go to edit mode with these bones. Everyone knows like, sl you gotta do these in order. You, basically, you don't have to do them in order, but make sure the weapon bone is the last. So I'm gonna do slide, trigger, mag, and then slot. You control P and do keep offset. Now, if I go into pose mode, it's like that bone in general. Now everything moves together. So now we basically created a bone rig.